heard it before. I hope it'll be a blessing. If you have, I hope it'll be a blessing to you again. And then it'll encourage you to keep on keeping on doing the work that God would have you to do. I had a talk with the master the other day. And the conversation that we had started out this way. I said, now Lord, I can't do all this work that you've given me. I'm tired. It's too hard. There's other things that I'd like to do. And places that I really need to be. And then silence came. And fast my heart did beat. That little still, small voice. The bar that I'd heard so many times. It began to speak. And he said, son, sit down. For just a minute or two. And tell me who made you boss. And said you could decide what to do. He said, I've got a few questions. You might call it a test. And I'll put you in charge. If just one of your answers can be yes. And then he said, can you make the sun come up in the morning? And go down in the afternoon? Can you tell the trees which fruit to yield? And the flowers with the bloom. Can you be in every place in the universe all at the same time and still take care of the orphans, the widows, and the old folks and hear every newborn baby's first cry? Can you heal the sick and make the blind to see? Well, if you can, then I'll put you in charge and I'll just leave. Then he said, can you take a broken heart and put it all back together in here? Or pass out blessings without having respect for any man? And oh yes, could you walk up Calvary's hill and hang on an old rugged cross for some poor wretched old beggar or maybe just an old drunk? He said, these are just a few questions that I've decided to use. Now, if you think you can count on the job, then I'll just give it to you. I bowed my head with sadness. Tears from my eyes did flow. And I said, Lord, the answer to every question that you've asked would surely have to be no. And he said, son, that I already knew. It happens to all. So I'm not mad at you. And I'm sure glad he wasn't. But I want you to go on now and do your work with care. And I promise I'll never give you more than what you can pay. You be a good servant. And you stand faithful, brave, and true. But always remember that I'm the master and I know what's best for you. Are you glad he's the master?